<laughs> Tell me how you felt. How did the phone call go? <laughs> Well, it's sort of one of those phone calls you think, is someone having me on? <laughs> because I would have never in a thousand years believed it would be possible. And I feel so honoured. And when I told my daughter, because we actually play with Barbies at home with my 12-year-old daughter and we were bouncing around the room, I can't believe it. <laughs> so it was like, hi, is that Maggie? Hi, Maggie, yeah, it's Mattel on the phone. It was yes. like that? It was, yes. Um, um, we, um, we were thinking of honouring you um, by creating your own Barbie. So, you know, really? Because when I was growing up, I played with Barbies, but they didn't really look like me. Mm -hmm. And so now to have one that actually looks like me is just quite mind-boggling. But, yeah, a real honour. Oh, my <laughs> goodness. Because some people would say, oh, you know, it's a bit girly, but it's not girly. It's about empowering women, isn't it? And I think it's showing girls that they can do anything they set their mind to. They have the potential to change the world. And I, I think that's a message we need to get out more. Um, I, I, do lots of um, public speaking and speaking to sort of girls and kids in general and asking them to reach for the stars, to have a big, crazy dream. And uh, this, I would have never dreamed that this would happen, but yes, uh, crazy uh, dreams can come true. Oh, wow. And can other people get a, a copy of it? Or is it just you know, it's for a one, you? one off it's unique. just for you. Yes. That's a shame, isn't it? Oh. Because there are others that will definitely want to buy... I would want to purchase that. <laughs> tell me why... Um, tell me about your work and why you think that you find yourself in this position. Yes. Very well deserved, by oh. the way. Oh, thank you. Well, um, um, over the past sort of 18 years, I've been going out and speaking to mainly kids, but I think I've speaking to about 450,000 people. And it's trying to encourage girls, especially, to have, a, I like to call it, the desire to aspire. And it's sort of, that's one of the things that Barbie is trying to show us, that um, with the different dolls, you can sort of be a marine biologist, you can be an astronaut. There are all these different sort of things we can do. But some girls feel oh, they're limited, that they, they can't achieve or, or literally reach for the stars. So it's encouraging them to have big, crazy dreams and see how far they can take them. And tell us what it is that you do for those people, a few people out there who don't know. Yes. So I'm a space scientist by trade. So what I work... does that mean? Oh, yes. So I work on things like uh, the James Webb Space Telescope. Oh, amazing. Yes. Yeah, so um, I was one of the 10,000 scientists scientists that worked on that. I've also worked on sort of satellites that help us understand climate change. But um, as a space scientist, I also work on ground-based astronomy, so big, wonderful telescopes that look deep into the universe. But much of what I do is actually looking at our planet and understanding how our planet works and trying to tackle things like climate change, understand how our planet can evolve in the future uh, to make the world a better place for everyone, hopefully. And what took you in that direction? Oh, what sort of um, studying did you need to do? Yes. Well, it's funny for me, because um, I got the the space bug when I was really young and I went to 13 different schools when I was growing up. Why is um, that? Yes. Sometimes kids say, oh my goodness, you must have been really naughty. <laughs> <laughs> but it wasn't actually like that. My parents split up when I was four and sometimes I was with my mum, sometimes I was with my dad. And so the schools just sort of racked up. Um, also, I have a condition called dyslexia, which when you first start out at school makes it really hard. And so I was put in the remedial class. Um, but um, because I have this desire to get into space, it means you can sort of overcome hurdles. And I see dyslexia now as my superpower because it helps me communicate my ideas and communicate sort of sometimes complex science to a general audience. Uh, but yes, and so oh, I had to put it of a rocky start, but then I went on to get a degree in physics and a PhD in mechanical engineering. And then... then oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> Which is why I'm Dr Maggie now. But I think that's the key. It's that desire to aspire. And that's what we want to sort of send the message out with the Barbies uh, to um, all the girls out there. Have a big, crazy dream. See where it takes you. And where's your crazy dream taking you next? <laughs> Well, my ultimate goal. Now I've got my own Barbie. That's what yeah, tick in the box. Yeah. Big <laughs> but, tick. <laughs> but I've always wanted to get out into space mm -hmm. and visit the moon, for instance. Yeah. And NASA are talking about sending people back to the moon. They are. And, and so far, it's only been sort of twelve guys, all white and all American. So they're talking about Last mixing one, it up. one, nineteen seventy-nine or seventy-two. Oh, I seventy-two. I think. 72, yeah. yeah. So it's been over fifty years. Yeah. So they're talking about a, a project Artemis, sending people back to the moon. And I'm an absolute lunatic. I <laughs> absolutely love the moon. So yeah, that's one of my crazy dreams out there, just to get into space, really. Yeah. So it was 69 to 72, wasn't it? Yes. We've not been there since. No. You're going to go. <laughs> You're definitely going to go. I can tell. <laughs> and thank you for bringing in your Barbie. Does she have a name or is she just called Barbie? Uh, uh, Mini Maggie. <laughs> Mini Maggie. I love it. It's good to see you. Thank you so much for joining us. Really thank appreciate you. it.